Welcome to the channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Now join me for today's video where I discuss whether or not you can modify the Addis Dive, uh, my H9 dive watch. Uh, I did a review uh, not too long ago on this watch and I did mention that this would be a great base uh, for modification. Seeing as though the case, the crystal and the bezel and the whole soft design aspect was just so, so brilliant on this watch. Uh, now, if you're asking the question, why are you trying to mod it? Well, I think it was down to the fundamental flaws noticed on the actual dial and, and the design of the watch, um, just specifically regarding the dial. As you can see, it's a bit of a cross between a field watch slash pilot watch, um, and it's being a dive watch as well. Now, that's, that didn't sit right with me, and I know for sure with a lot of the subscribers that also didn't sit right. Uh, and the thing is with this watch, it's got a lot of uh, vintage dive watch design cues. You know, when we look at the twisted logs, when we look at that bezel, and especially that profile with that bubble style crystal, that beautiful dome, almost a UFO style profile. Now, that's that's where the problem lies, I think. Again, going back to what I just said, the flaws within the actual design aspect of the dial. Also, looking at the dial, you've got different three different colors, effectively. You've got this yellow, you've got this beige, uh, and then you've got the white on there. So, yeah, uh, definitely does need modification because I think the watch case uh, and everything else aside from the dial is absolutely brilliant. So, what can you mod and what can't you mod? Uh, now, as you can see, uh, for those guys that do remember the previous video that this does look slightly different to the one that I had in the original video That's because I have modified this slightly now. What can't you mod the dial? Uh, you know, you can't mod the dial. You can't change the dial. Sorry It's be because the dial is 31 millimeters in diameter uh, Unless you get a replacement dial at 31 millimeters now, of course the dials I've got in my collection uh, of mod parts are 28 point five mil uh which are all you know very um which are all seiko friendly so they'll sort of fit into the majority of these uh homage watches uh which use the nh35 movement uh so that being said what can you mod you can modify um the hands because they accept all nh35 hands uh due to the movement and you can also modify uh stuff like the date wheel so you are kind of limited to what you can do in terms of the bezel insert i've not tried that i'm assuming it'll be the same as the skx 007 but don't take my assumption on that um but yeah so what have i done i've changed the hands i've used uh the you know vintage loom sword style hands which match the Addis Dive logo at the 12 and the automatic 200 meters above the 6. Uh, and I've also changed uh, the date wheel to a black date wheel. So it's it's a bit more subtle and the date text being actually white uh, just stands out nicely. But I still think it doesn't look right. I did uh, think about put, changing the second hand with the white one that it came with, uh, but that didn't look right as well. So... You know, it's not all bad news and it's not all good news at the same time um, because the main thing is the actual dial. So, as mentioned, it will accept a 31mm dial. Uh, just go on to AliExpress, have a look around at what they have. So, that's that. Um, yeah, just recap, recap on the watch. I just love the shape. And I think that's awesome. Everything else about the watch is spot on. So just a quick video from me today on this one. So that's it for me today. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.